Today, we're gonna compare the two biggest casting sites in the US so you can determine which one is right for you right now. Let's get after it. Websites I'm referring to are Actors Access, also known as Breakdown Services and Casting Networks. The reason why these are heavy hitter casting sites is that agents use these sites to get their actors work. There's a third website, Casting Frontier, that agents also use, but today we're strictly going to talk about these two. But don't worry, you don't need to have an agent to get work through these casting sites. If you're unrepresented, you probably won't get the best, highest paying work on the casting breakdowns. However, I have seen some big projects on there from time to time, as well as some one-liner roles on TV shows. But you'll mostly see some high-profile, low-budget films, student films, commercials, and theater that will make out for a great reel, credit, and another line on your resume. We are specifically going to compare four things in this video, so make sure that you stick around till the end. And if you haven't already, go ahead and download my actor's guide to becoming a working actor. One, the interface. While both are pretty easy to use, Casting Networks is the clear winner for aesthetics and its intuitive and tech forward navigation, partly because they just went through an overhaul. Actors Access has had the same interface since I moved to LA in 2007. It also has a sister site that you have to go to to get your sides, AKA your lines, that you need to look up yourself unless it's given to you outright and that's on Showfax, which is a division of Breakdown Services. What is Breakdown Services? It's the equivalent of actors' access for agents to submit their peeps. So, Casting Networks has one site, while Actors Access technically has three sites. Two, how do you get work? Assuming that you've already created your profile, you're gonna then go to breakdowns on Actors Access and type what you're looking for through the filter process. You can say jobs fit for me, paying, non-paying, location, etc. Once you see something you like, submit and then boom, you're all set. Except you are not really, because you have to take the extra step by going to your cart where you can hit send on all the roles you chose in your submission process. You will then receive an email as confirmation that it has been finally complete. For casting networks, you're gonna do basically the same thing by going to casting billboard and filtering through and finding the things you want to submit for and submit. By now, you've probably noticed that Actors Access is very film and TV heavy, while Casting Networks is more commercial heavy. But there are occurrences where the opposite will be true, as well as finding theater, print work, and industrials sprinkled in. When you get an audition in your Actors Access, you will get a message in your mail center to submit an eco-cast, which usually is a self-tape. Make sure to follow directions carefully and send it in exactly how the casting director wants, including labeling it correctly. Once you have done that, you will download it and again, you will get a notice that has been received. For casting networks, you'll get an email saying you are being requested for an audition, whether it be a live Zoom audition or a self-tape, and usually you will need to send it to the casting director via WeTransfer through casting networks or to the CD directly via their own WeTransfer or Dropbox. Three. Let's talk about the tools. While both have several tools that can be used to not only find an agent, but to also get footage for whenever your book job airs, there is also a link that you can share your entire profile easily with other industry professionals. The Actors Access link is a bit more archaic, but it has everything you need. For casting networks, it's got a beautiful interface. And as you can see, I have plenty of media and pictures. Why is this, you ask? Because with Actors Access, you have to pay for anything extra. With casting networks, you get an unlimited amount of pictures and media. But rightly so, because the spread in cost for these two is kind of big. Four, price. For Actors Access, it costs $68 per year, two free photos and slate shots, and $10 per additional photo that can't be replaced. Meaning, if you no longer look like that picture, the money is gone. You delete it from your profile and you have to purchase another. 
Then it is $5 per slate shot, $22 per minute of video, and $11 per minute of audio. So if we have six pictures with six slate shots, a three minute reel, a two minute VO demo, and a one minute skill video, we are looking at $170 plus the year membership, which is $238. Now, as long as you don't change or don't update your reel, like ever, then you'll only need to pay $68 a year. For casting networks, it's a flat rate of $259 with unlimited everything. You can change as much as you want and not have to pay for it. In conclusion, these are the industry standard casting sites. And in order to keep you working, it's imperative for you to get them both. If you can only afford one, go with the one that is perfect for your type. Hope that helps. See you next time. And don't you forget, download my free ebook, A Guide to Becoming a Working Actor.